Yo, how is it going, bitch? Now you can light the gem lamps in this cave. It's like they're assuming that you've already. Well, they would be assuming that you've already done the other one because, duh. How else would you have gotten here? The uh, I haven't. Sorry, I glitched out your game. I'm not even sure if that was actually discernible in that audio that I just said. Uh, I don't care. I'm having fun. It's all that matters when you're having fun. Okay, three more are great. It's the rainbow! Rainbow! Thank god I don't have to do that glitch again. And they just automatically teleport me up there. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spiral. For a while, I was afraid we were going to have to cancel tonight's baseball game. Here, oh, how no. in with a baseball? Where the hell are you going to play baseball? Like... The... There is no suitable place to play baseball in this level. But what am I gonna... What am I gonna do about it? I don't care. Really don't care. And... Fly out the window! Bing 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 bing! Okay, the last gems should be these in here. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, I don't want I don't care about if you're there or not, you little snot. Oh my god, I need to get better at hovering. These are essential skills. Okay, there we go. These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks. But they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, <laughs> come ask me. The innuendos are real. Let's use his rocks. He's a little bouncer. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Why so many innuendos? It's like they're trying to test me. My shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Okay. Your voice is kind of annoying, do you know that? Then again, I have an annoying voice too. We could be friends! Come on! Hurry up! What are you supposed to be anyway, a rat? Or a kangaroo? You can spit pretty far, Spyro! His name is Bouncer, so I guess he's a kangaroo. But what? What the fuck do kangaroos have to do with gems? Like, does Australia have a good history for gems? To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press and hold the triangle button to aim. Then okay. So basically, shit that I've already been doing. I guess they thought I wouldn't have figured that out by now. Oh wow, you run very far. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Fuck you. I overshot it the first time. Not the second time. I will kill all the lizards. Okay, can we go please? Thank you. Christ. Oh, look, another one. Oh, how quaint. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I know you fucking are. And I know that wasn't how their voice sounded like. I don't give a shit. It's how I decided to say it. Right now I'm thinking about my favorite and least favorite levels so that I'm prepared. And... I remember all of these levels in all of this game. And some of them were just annoying as fuck. Okay. Okay then. That helps. Bye, bitch. Bye, Felicia. Hey, you saved my crop of gems from the lizards. Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Okay then, thanks. 
I wish I got shiny things for helping people. Then I might have actually done it. I'm pretty sure you're able to do that as well. Try and get up there from that, but... I've never been able to. I'm pretty sure I've seen people do it. But, you know... Watching people do it and doing it is two entirely different things. Okay, let's go light these lamps and then we'll be able to get the fuck out of here. Great! The Superfly power-up is active and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly and the big gem lamp will light the power- Flame on. Yeah, I was supposed to do this first, obviously, but fuck you! I don't do conventional shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. One more. Ping. Thanks for helping me light the lamp spiral. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Sounds like they swallowed their spit whenever they said gave. That's nasty. Now I also love to do as a kid. Get up here. For no reason. I just like getting up here. I like trying to get on this thing, but I couldn't. I also loved how the level cut off there. Like, like this. I was always curious to see why that was. Helping us fight off the lizards. Please You're welcome. The talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Ta. Oh, it's a little pickaxe. Oh. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. This magic weed next to me could do the very same thing. Okay, so glimmer is complete. So let us leave. In the summer forest. I also just realized that Glimmer is the only level that doesn't have an its own level intro and level outro. Oh no. Ew. Don't like the decor. Oh hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh hi, I'm Spyro. What are you? Some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, Sorry. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. What self-respecting woman wears purple eyeshadow so during that day? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect Especially a hooker shade like that. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to dragon I always thought that Hunter said yes in that scene, but he actually says he is. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter... You can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talisman? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. That so finger snap happened way before he even lifted his hand. The old hot foot and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Sounds like a plan. Summer Forest. Auto saving. <gasps> I forgot this game had that. Oh my god, it's like a gift from the gods! Anyway. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, there isn't enough gems in the in this hub world alone for me to be able to learn swimming. So, well not swimming, but diving, so... I'll go into Colossus first. And the reason I'll go into Colossus first is because that's the level that doesn't require swimming to be able to 100%. Yeah, hey, Laura, how are you? You little hooker. Why should you hook during the day? 
That is gonna be my question every time I see her. Why you hook him during the day? Also, what qualifies these free people to just be able to do all this? Like... Like, tell Spyro how to get around and shit? Do these people even have a leader? And why the fuck does money bags have palaces? So many unanswered questions. But it is nice that they actually, like, explain how you get the guidebook and why it is there. Because in Spyro 3, you just get the World Atlas. And no explanation as to why it's there. Or how it magically updates itself. Okay.